Good morning, friends. Happy day after Christmas. I have a bit of a Christmas hangover. <laughs> Not literally, but that's how I feel this morning. It is 6 o'clock. The kids and I have been up for about 15 minutes, maybe. <laughs> My husband got up at 4 and went to work. So I'm glad I didn't have to get up then. Um, so yeah, I'm having some water because I can't actually remember having any water yesterday. I did. I know I did because I, I had water at breakfast and I had water last night. But I definitely did not drink enough water yesterday. I can feel it. And I'm starting to get all clogged up in my face, which is perfect timing. Um, but I'm having some water. I didn't necessarily do too bad yesterday with my eating. I definitely did not track and I definitely ate some stuff that I would not normally eat. Um, but I wanted to use yesterday as a... Not a last two raw, because I didn't go crazy, but um, I just didn't want to think about it. Uh, so today we are starting completely fresh. I got my new book. It doesn't have a cover, which I thought was kind of strange, but I did buy it secondhand. Um, and I started reading it, but I've been doing a lot in my cookbook that I got, uh, for any of you who didn't see that. I did get my cookbook last week, BB6 cookbook. So we are forging ahead with that today. Um, what, baby? What's the matter? What? I did just weigh in. I was up a little, a pound or two. Um, it is what it is. Probably a lot of it is the fact that I did not drink enough water yesterday and that I did eat more food than I normally would. I'm not going to take complete stock. I think I was at 153. I want to say 153 on the dot, but I can't remember exactly what it was. I will insert a picture and the amount that I gained, um, right here. Um, well, at the end of this clip. So, it is what it is. It was the Christmas couple pounds. I'm okay with that. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna jump back in. I'm gonna hold off on coffee for a little while. I'm gonna have a couple ibuprofen and try to get this whole cup of water down before I have any coffee. Even though I would love to just dive headfirst into it right now. Um... So, water, Monday morning. Good morning, everybody. Christmas is over, at least. Here it is. And New Year's is absolutely no big deal because my husband will be working and my kids will be in bed and I can guarantee you I will be asleep by 9 o'clock. So, no worries of celebration here for that. <laughs> so, I am done. With the holiday season. We have my husband's Christmas work party sometime in January, but I'm not even sure when it is, and I'm not even sure. I don't know. <laughs> that kind of stuff doesn't really tempt me because I don't really care to eat in front of people, like at a big party like that. Um, so we will see. Oh, goodness. I can't stop yawning. And I've only been awake for 15 minutes. I have a disaster of a house to clean. I did not spend any time cleaning yesterday. I tried to keep things moved out of the walking paths, but that was about it. I said I'm going to give my kids this one day, and then we are going to... Good job. Can I have it back? 
We are going to get things clean and everything, all the gifts put away. Might Mom. happen today. <laughs> Might not happen. Like, Might happen through you. the week. It may have... Does it smell good? Um. No. Okay, I'm going to go drink my water. I'll see you guys at breakfast. Bye. Hey guys, so it is about 8.15 and I'm finally getting some breakfast. Somehow in my grocery shopping chaos, I did not get any coffee creamer for myself, which kind of stinks. Um, be right back. There it is. Hi. Good slide. Lower your voice, please. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna use one packet there of the Pure Via. In my cup. I'm just getting some coffee. This is my first coffee. Because I have been busy putting together toys. Sorry, there's a light string right in front of my face. Um, I've been putting together toys and unpacking Christmas stuff and all of that. So I'm going to just use some cashew milk. And, ow, some of this caramel coffee flavoring. And if I had room, I would put some of the foam topping on top, but I don't because I put too much coffee in the cup. Santa was pretty good to me yesterday. I got the... Um, Pioneer Woman measuring spoons, which I love, and my big present of the day is right there. Isn't she pretty? My husband outdid himself this year. She is a beautiful wine purple color. She has been on my list for a long, long time. Um, always something that is definitely much too expensive to just spend extravagantly. So it was, we actually made pizza dough in it last night for supper, which was awesome because we make a lot of pizza and my husband just brings the dough home from work, which is great because we still know where it's being, where it's coming from and who made it and... I actually know how to point it out because I made it for, you know, just a moment. I'm moving some stuff, please. Anyways, we made our own pizza dough, so we had pizza for supper last night. I ate way too much pizza. So I'm almost done my first water. Like I said, I put together three Christmas presents and we had a tea party. Stop. Stop. Okay. It's not my milk. Please don't. I see. So I'm having some breakfast. Half an apple. Apple. Two pieces of Ezekiel toast, which I found at my local store, which is great. Um, there is a half an ounce of raw almond butter on there for three points, and a banana, and a little tiny bit of hemp seeds on top. So four for the bread, three for the almond butter. Zero points for my coffee because there's no creamer in it, just the almond milk. So, seven Six. points for breakfast. Um, actually, stop. I have a ham in the crock pot for supper. We were going to cook it yesterday as our Christmas dinner, but then my husband and I wanted to use our new toy, so we made pizza dough instead. So, I've got to cook it because it was... It needs to be cooked, so I am going to cook that. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to find a different crock pot recipe. And it's your mommy coffee. No, it's hot, and it's mommy's coffee, not Willow's coffee. Um, I'm going to try to find a plant-based recipe to cook in my crock pot either tomorrow or Wednesday. My husband is home for the next two days. He's working today, but... Um, but I'm going to try to find something I can make to kind of eat off of the rest of the week. Um, my mom 
wants me, well, I think I'm, I'm thinking about making a pea soup, but the only way I really like pea soup is with ham in it, um, but we'll see. Um, I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow because this was my last banana and my last apple. I like me. Oh, you want to get in there too? Say good morning. Oh, you are really big. Here. Say good morning. No, say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. Get that tongue in your mouth. Okay, we're going to go eat breakfast. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi friends. So it is lunchtime. It is noon and I have been a busy bee this morning. Took my Christmas tree down, took my decorations down, put everything into boxes. Now I need to find where we can put it. We acquired a lot of Christmas stuff from my mom um, and we only had a couple boxes but until about a month ago they were in our storage unit. So I have no idea where we're going to put all this Christmas stuff, but, oh well, it's out of the way now. My living room is put back together for the most part, but I am going to stop and have some lunch. Down here on the bottom, I have two-thirds of a cup of the Trader Joe's frozen um, rice medley. It has wild rice and brown rice in it. That is four points, and then I have three points worth, or like... 84 grams of chickpeas that I cooked up with some taco seasoning, zero points worth. I used about a teaspoon and a half of that. Um, so the chickpeas are three. The rice is four, which is seven. I have a big pile of frozen broccoli, almost a whole steamed bag that I steamed in the microwave. It has just a little salt and pepper on it. And then I have just some cilantro and some about a tablespoon of salsa. So, a big old bowl of food for seven points. I'm feeling really good today. Um, I'm hungry. About 11 o'clock, I got really hungry, and I didn't eat breakfast until a little after 8. So, I think I'm detoxing a little bit. I ate a lot of sugar yesterday, probably more than I care to admit. Um, we got a huge, right there, that blue tub was full to the top of things that my grandma and my aunt sent that were like baked goods. And I knew today was a clean slate, so I kind of ate everything out of there that I wanted to yesterday, knowing that I wouldn't have another chance to eat out of it. Um, and I had a whole grand's cinnamon roll for breakfast, um, breakfast, lunch, whatever it was. But um, I definitely partook in some sugar eating yesterday, so I'm detoxing, and um, I can definitely feel it. I have a headache, a terrible headache. Um, this is my third cup of water, so I am working on my water, and I still have a little bit of my coffee left. I just started sipping on it again. Um, if it was in a different cup, I would rewarm it, but I'll drink it cold. So, seven points for lunch, and I think... When all was said and done, oh, well, I had six points for breakfast because the peanut, the almond butter that I used was only two points and not three. So as of right now, I have 17 points left. Like I said, I am cooking a ham in the crock pot um, for supper. I don't know yet what I'm going to have with it. We kind of used all our potatoes yesterday. We have a few. I might be able to make some uh, mashed potatoes enough just for supper. I'm thinking carrots for a vegetable um, and maybe some stuffing so I'm not sure what I'm going to eat out of all of that um, I will probably have a little bit of the ham and the potato and the vegetable but I don't know if I'll have the stuffing or not but I certainly have enough points um, being that it is only noon and I'm pretty used to eating lunch around one I may need to have a snack this afternoon just with the way my hunger pains have been today but We'll see when we get there. So for now, I'm going to go eat my lunch. I'll see you guys later. Bye.
Hi guys, so it is a little after 3, it's almost 3.30, and I'm starting to get a little snacky, which isn't surprising seeing as I've been staring at Christmas cookies, Christmas goodies, and until about an hour ago there were two great big Grand's cinnamon rolls sitting on my stove. Oh boy. So I think this is my fourth cup of water and I have two tablespoons of the homemade hummus that I made a couple a week or so ago and some baby carrots so I'm just gonna have a little snack to get me through until supper time um, I'm actually really impressed with myself that I didn't just break down and have a cookie or something <laughs> I can definitely feel the the detox happening today my headache has gone away, luckily. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a little snack, and I will insert a picture of my supper, and I'll be back later to close out the vlog. Okay, bye! Hey guys, so it is almost 8 o'clock, and I am so ready for bed. But I feel like I did pretty good today. I will insert a picture of my dinner. It was a lot heftier in points than I thought it would be. Um, I still managed to have three points left for my day. Um, for supper, I had four ounces of... Uh, I cooked a smoked pork shoulder in the crock pot all day kind of like ham, um, four ounces of that with eight points. So it was definitely high, but it was worth it. Oh my God, I could have just kept eating. I'm actually going to turn the rest of the ham meat and use the ham bone um, tomorrow, probably Wednesday. I was going to do it tomorrow, but I have to go to the store first um, and make a pea soup because that's what my husband, my husband loves pea soup too. So I'm going to make a big crock pot full of soup um, that I can eat for dinner some nights this week if I want to. Um, I'll probably freeze some of it. So I had that and then I had a little over a half a cup of um, mashed potatoes. I only used maybe a half a cup of cashew milk and... Um, two tablespoons of the I can't believe it's not butter light um, and we got four five six seven, I'd say eight or nine servings out of it so um, I'm not counting any points for that so that was three points for the potatoes and then I had one serving of stovetop stuffing the savory herb I wasn't gonna have any but it looked so good um, so my dinner was 14 points um, no, I actually, and I take that back, I only have one point left for my day because I never tracked the hummus that I had this afternoon. So I did good. I stayed at my points. I ate plant-based all day. I need to get up and start moving because I'm only at 9,100 steps and I am bound and determined to hit 11,000 every day. So I am going to find a TV show to watch and walk in place for the duration of that. And I am I'm bound and determined to get to at least 11,000 every day. So I am going to do that. I'm on like my 6th or 7th cup of water. Super thirsty today can tell I didn't drink enough water the last couple days um, but I had a good day I spent a lot of time today reading my new books um, I haven't officially made a meal plan I just didn't have time to sit down but I did go through this cookbook it is amazing it has like I don't know three or four weeks of meals laid out for you but there's a lot of ingredients um, seems like every single meal has a different ingredient in it um, so I picked and choose a few of them like I picked a couple that were in the breakfast and a couple that were in the lunch and I'm gonna get the ingredients to make those you know 
every couple of days I'll switch. Um, and then I'm just going to keep going. I started reading the lifestyle book. I'm only a couple of chapters in. I didn't have a lot of time to sit down and read today, but um, it's a good book and I'm feeling really strong about my decision. So I feel really good. Um, I'm tired and I'm ready to be over this Christmas hangover. I think being able to wake up tomorrow with my house put back in some sort of shape will help. It's still a disaster. There's still so many new toys and everything everywhere, but for the most part I got the kitchen all put together and I got all the Christmas decorations taken down and at least my furniture in the living room. This house is so much smaller than the last house we were in that I feel really overwhelmed in this house a lot of the time because our other house was so big and it was such, the rooms were so open that there was lots of empty space and here it feels like every square inch of this house is full of stuff and we pared down a lot when we moved here and sometimes it's really overwhelming for me. I get, sorry guys, um, I get really bad anxiety about it because I just can't seem to move things enough to make blank spaces and I'm a white space kind of girl. So just having my furniture put back the way that I like it instead of having it all cluttered to fit a Christmas tree in too made me feel better. So a work in progress. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. So I hope everybody had a great day after Christmas, either resting and relaxing with your family or back at work. I am thankful, very, very thankful that we had a Monday the day after Christmas because it was a perfect day to just jump back in and start fresh. I think if today were Saturday or Sunday or God forbid Wednesday or Thursday, I would have just given in and kept off that wagon until Monday. So I feel really blessed and really thankful that today was Monday and that I could just jump back on and I did. And it was hard. There were a few times staring at all the cookies and Christmas treats around here that I really wanted them, but my goal is bigger than those wants, and I know that. So here's to another day. See you guys tomorrow.